again in 1999 you were brought back and we were introduced to the hex girl through witch's ghost which i think is kind of like a key founding moment for most people in scooby-doo history so do you remember how kind of you know getting back into scooby-doo came about was it kind of relationships were just maintained or again like you know that hard work just shining through really it was an audition like that's the truth of it is we all audition all the time you reach a point where you're lucky enough to get work without auditioning, which is beautiful, but it's not all the time. And you still audition all the time. At this point in my career, I still audition. This is the way to, so I auditioned for that. Yeah, it was, and I had an existing um, relationship with Colette Sunderman, our director, which is, she's wonderful. And, um, and you know, plus it was singing, right? And that's my joy. So it's like, oh my God, I really want to do this. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I will admit, I think we can all agree that we wish there was like a Hex Girl CD or something because it's the I best mean, movie ever seen in Sco the best music ever seen in Scooby Doo, right? I live for the chance <laughs> to sing those songs. I just love it so much, you know. Yeah, and my favorite one rarely gets pulled out. I'm like, you guys, this was the best one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they certainly were amazing. And I know you said, like you say, you've got a couple of voices in your head. Some of them have been British. Where did the voice come from for Thorn? Is it that you'd kind of seen the character and? could imagine her voice was it that you kind of were given a bit of a brief of what it was meant to sound like how do you kind of yep. adapt these voices yeah we get a brief in the u.s we call it the description and the sides and it's the description of the character and the script for me it always comes out of the writing everything's in the writing it's out of there and just what's the i, I love to connect to like what's the first thing that sparks for me and live in that and then i'll push hard for like for an opposite idea of some sort but generally it's the first thing that comes into my head it gets the first takes and then i'll go in and try the others because that's that's a really important piece of it you know something you said sparked something in my head which is um that pushing pushing to be better 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 it's an important tool but like a hammer when you start using it to open a window you have a problem which is balance must be developed as you go along the ability to acknowledge where you are better and to go you know what you're good enough right now just relax We'll do another push for progress in a minute, but let's just stop and acknowledge where you are. So, um, yeah, so those are, I've lost track of the question, but thanks. 